Greetings, comrades. Uh, this is a response to Maoist Rebel News to uh, his video, Marines urinate on Taliban dead. Uh, now, this is really old news now. Um, must be at least a couple of months old. And basically, I haven't actually watched the video. I've only looked at the pictures. Uh, I don't really want to see the video. But um, basically, a bunch of Marines took a piss on some dead uh, Afghans, presumably Taliban, but no one knows for sure, but let's say they are for the sake of argument. Um, kind of laughing and joking around, and they videoed it, and they put it on the internet, which is um, a pretty stupid thing to do. Uh, you know, if you're trying to present a good image for your war, for your armed forces, it looks kind of sketchy and unprofessional. Now, it seems to me that when you have like a kind of a war where you invaded a country, where you're bombing people, where, you know, both sides are taking prisoners, where you've got people being beheaded and their bodies being left on the street by kind of Islamist insurgents, where you've got, you know, kind of village militias accidentally being mowed down by American forces, when you've got friendly fire going on, landmines everywhere from about 30 years of war. You'd think when you look at the entire incident within the context of everything that's been going on in that country over the last, God, I think about 35 years, something like that. When you look at a few Marines pissing on some dead bodies in that whole context, it doesn't really strike me as being a big deal. But... It has been, you know, kind of the focus of a lot of people's anger. And, um, you know, it's been a source of a lot of condemnation from kind of the, uh, the liberal media. So why is this? I mean, what does this act kind of represent? Okay, it's... Uh, we have a pretty... I think we retain a lot of kind of superstitious kind of features, um, you know, from old-fashioned religions about there's some kind of innate need to be respectful to dead bodies, um, as if they were still actually people, uh, as if, you know, I don't believe in the concept of a soul, but as if, you know, there was they, that which makes a person human still resides within their kind of their physical remains, within their residual physical material on earth so but even within that context you know these insurgents or Taliban or whatever you want to call them and the, uh, the American soldiers are in a war together you know it seems that it would probably be kind of more acceptable to a lot of people to piss on the Taliban while they're alive but not when they're dead so I suppose, you know, because of this kind of cultural feature that's sort of been embedded within us for kind of thousands of years, it's, you know, it seems like uh, they've just basically violated some kind of strange taboo by pissing on these kind of soldiers. But again, as I said, you know, when you look at it within the wider context of what's been going on in that country, it's completely insignificant. I mean, fuck. The things Taliban did to living people and the things the American soldiers and the Soviet soldiers and the various other ISAF units have done to living people. You know, the fact that it's an occupied country, um, you know, a war that was started on kind of dubious grounds and was executed very poorly. I mean, you know, I do believe that if they wanted to, they could have nabbed Osama bin Laden pretty quickly. I mean... Look at it this way, uh, they found, they snuck into Pakistan with their helicopters and their special forces and they flew in and they took out Osama Bin Laden, they landed on his roof on a house which was basically just down the road from um, the ISI, the uh, Pakistani Secret Services headquarters and they've got, you know, kind of... I'm not going to say it's an advanced military or even a modern military, but, you know, they've got tanks and they've got, you know, 
properly trained soldiers and they've probably got anti-aircraft weapons and radar and stuff you know and yet they could not do this to you know a, a what are basically a bunch of fundamentalists with AK-47s and shitty RPGs. Um, they couldn't just fly a couple of helicopters in there and sneak in with all their satellites and, you know, all their cruise missiles and everything like that. But, uh, you know, I'm getting off topic. So, why is it that this one singular act of, you know, a couple of real macho, you know, soldiers who probably seen their friends blown up and are probably traumatised by the experience of war and the process of it, who've been trained to hate the enemy, who've been trained to kill the enemy, to possibly even torture the enemy under some circumstances. Why is their simple act of just disrespecting their residual physical material such a big deal? Well, it seems to me that you know, this kind of, this liberal condemnation of what's going on is basically, it's like a safety valve. And it reminds me in a, a certain way, you know, when Marx, and Bakunin actually has a similar line on this, when he talks about religion, and his basic idea of religion is that it's, yeah, it plays the role of a safety valve. Um, you know, the person, uh, the worshipper, the proletarian, whose life is pretty shitty, at the time of his writing, um, goes to church every day, takes part in the religious ceremony, gets a, an emotional release from that, and it reinforces the message that though, there, though you are suffering here, in this world, uh, you will be emancipated in the next world, in that, you know, through your suffering here, you will emancipate yourself, basically. Um, <laughs> which is actually quite similar to probably the Stalinist um, Khrushchev idea of the socialism and then we move on to full communism. But in the same sense, this kind of, you know, these marines who are pissing on the Taliban represent kind of like a sacrificial lamb, basically. We condemn, we focus all our, um, all our anxiety about the war, all our, you know, kind of, feelings about war in general, about this particular war, we focus it all on this small group of men, but it's actually an insignificant act. I think Maoist Rebel News really makes a very big deal over what is nothing. They're dead bodies, okay? If you're a Marxist, a dead body is a dead body. I'm not saying people should go around desecrating dead bodies, um, you know, or even consecrating them. You know, for example, with Lenin, uh, I think Lenin would very, very much disapprove of him being embalmed and being a tourist exhibition. You know, I think he would much prefer just to be cremated and, I don't know, scattered where he grew up or something. You know, so, but, you know, as Marxists, we, we, there's no moral or, you know, metaphysical holiness about a dead body. You know, a dead body is just a dead body, unfortunately. You know, the poor soul to whom that body belonged is gone you know he's uh he's dead i don't i don't think anything happens after you're dead but he's gone his experience of life is over um and his physical remains um don't really mean anything from that you know from, from that kind of viewpoint i mean yeah it's a disrespectful thing to do to piss on a dead body but you know, like I say, why are we focusing all our anger on just this particular aspect of the war? It seems like, to me, we focus all our rage on this one disrespectful, stupid thing that a lot of young men did. I mean, they're young guys. They're, half of these guys are teenagers, you know. That's, it's unsurprising, really. I mean, teenagers do a lot of sick and stupid things in our own society. You know, I'm sure, I mean, look at the case of Alyssa Bustamante, um, who, a 15-year-old girl who killed her nine-year-old neighbour, and obviously she received a lot of kind of rage, but, you know, she just didn't see what it felt like, basically, because she's a stupid teenager who has no kind of respect for life in that sense. So, I think the Marxist response to the Marines pissing on the Taliban 
should be, well, you know, that's, <laughs> if they're pissing on the, and that's the least of their problems, you know, you've got, basically you've set up a kleptomatic, uh, a kind of kleptocratic government, an oligarchic government there, um, which hasn't emancipated women, which hasn't brought any kind of Western secular liberal democracy to those people. It's, you know, it's an oligarchy, basically. Um, in the wide scale of, and it's the entire process of the war is still holding back the development of that country. I think, uh, you know, pissing on a few fundamentalists is just, and f condemning it, it's just a way of focusing people's anger away from what's going on on a general scale towards one kind of slightly repugnant act of a few ignorant people. So, basically my message is, well, they wouldn't be pissing on the Taliban if they weren't in the country. So, that's all I have to say. Red salutes.